So there's been a lot of talk about this thing called vibe coding, and it's a new way to create applications. But I'm also hearing that maybe it's just a fad and it doesn't work well. So I wanted to try it out for myself and create a new personal project. Because if you've seen my website, yeah, it needs a little bit of an update. So if you don't know what vibe coding is, essentially Andre Karpathy created this term a little while ago using a large language model to create software, kind of shifting the role from manual coding to guiding and testing and refining it using AI generated code. In other words, you're using a large language model to basically create your application and you're just giving it prompts. So I thought maybe I would just jump into an application that I'm working on. I have a brand new Nux application open. It's using the latest version Nux. I have Tailwind CSS4. I have this perfect hello world. It's a great canvas to create my new personal website. Now I'm using Nux, but if you're using React, I think the other frameworks would probably work exactly the same here. So I'm gonna to try to vibe code my way to having a nice new personal website. The way I'm gonna use it is Amazon QCLI is out. I'll put a link to the description below. You can try it out using the free tier and yeah, let me know if you do. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna be very polite to the AI. I think that's in all our best interest. I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna, I am gonna be polite to it because you never know. I'm gonna do please. Let me see, let me think. We're gonna create a personal website, please create a personal website. And then I'm gonna be very specific on what I want. Have spring colors, then have fun animations, make it professionally looking, professional looking. I think I wanna add like a bio, a contact me, maybe a blog. Add a blog, contact me, and bio page. Let's also, add in like a personal picture, add a profile picture, and then let's tell it to use Tailwind CSS4. Or it's already, and I'll tell it it's already installed and configured. Thanks. Okay, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, so it's gonna look at the personal website that I already have and try to determine, it should see automatically that I'm using Tailwind CSS and then it's going to stop prompting me, asking me if, what changes I want to do. Cool, it already made a description of what it's gonna do and it's gonna start working. Let's see how it goes, I'm excited. I don't know how this will work out. Okay, so it's already having me prompt, so I'm just going to fast forward through here, but I'm just hit Y through all these. So one thing I noticed is it actually added in a profile placeholder JPEG. I guess it assumed that I was gonna add one in there, but I'm gonna change it. Let's say, can you please also remove the profile placeholder JPEG and use something else instead? Okay, so let's see if it fixes that error, but also accepts this change. Okay, so here I noticed one couple of issues as I was going through this. It The bio view has a missing tag and I'll fix that in a second, but it looks like it's trying to update the Nux config and I think this is something I've seen in the past where it thinks it's using Tailwind CSS3 instead of four. So I'm gonna say, don't update this. We are using Tailwind CSS4. So that way it doesn't try to update this file. So, you know, it's pretty good, but it definitely you still need to know what you're doing, at least in this case. And then it's gonna run npm run dev and try it out. So I'm gonna just tell it real quick to fix the bio. Can you fix? Can you fix the bio, bio view? It's, it has an invalid end tag. So let's see if it can fix it. All right, so it looks like it found an extra template tag at the end, so it fixed it. Great, so let's see what it did. So it tells you it created a responsive layout, spring theme colors, you have this nice picture here. All right, so I have a little bit of animation, I have different projects. Let's see here, if I get in touch, goes to the contact page, a nice little animation. Looks pretty good, like we have a subject, a uh, name, some place to send a message. Of course, this isn't hooked up to a back end, but I think for a starting point, this is a pretty good. I have a whole bunch of information here, a blog. Okay, didn't finish the blog, so we'll have to see here what it did. I wonder if it, if we do slash one. Okay, so it does have 
It does have an ID, so you can get to the blogs, but it doesn't have like a main page. So let's see if we can fix that. So can you add a slash blog index page that shows all the blogs? Yeah, so let's see if this works. And it's noticing it doesn't exist, so hopefully it will create it. All right, so now it gave me a description of everything it wanted. So let's click here. Hey, look, there it is. It even has a featured post. It has a bunch of, I'm guessing these are all fake, but you get the idea. Oh, it even has tags here. That's it. Looked like this is all added in for us, which is really nice. Probably add some padding between these two, but that's fine. And if I go to read more, oh, here it is. Look there, it has some lorem ipsum text. So that's really neat that it like created all this. I could definitely see this like a good starting point to try it out. Okay, let's add a couple of more things. I went and stopped and restart QChat. I wanted to see some of the other things you can do with it. You can do accept all, so let's try that. So I do accept all, that means I don't have to hit Y over and over again. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna add a way to commit my changes. So can you create a new branch, YT Spring Personal, and commit the changes. All right, so now it's going to hopefully just automatically accept everything. You probably don't wanna do this normally, but we're gonna YOLO it and see how it goes. So it's running to get checkout, it's creating a new branch. It's just adding everything to it. But yeah, it looks like it worked. Yep, so it successfully did it. So now I think what we wanna do next is have the images. I wanna change those to using Unsplash. So can, you update all the images to use Unsplash. All right, so this will just take a second. I like how it used a find to find all the images. I think you can learn a lot by programming just by seeing how it, it's doing things. So it looks like it's smart. It didn't see any images, but it found the placeholder divs, so it's gonna replace those. Let's see what happens. All right, so went ahead and did it all. And let's see, nice. We now have a nice little profile picture. This is pulled from Unsplash, so these are just free pictures we can use. Oh, we have a little nice project pictures here. We, in our blog, now each one of them have pictures in each one that we can look at. If we go to any individual one, here's the picture. So you can see all this would have taken a bit of time to put together and it's basically all here. Bio, didn't change the bio page, but I guess that's okay. Looks like it has all the icons. Contact page doesn't have any picture. So it got all of them except the bio page. I guess that's pretty good. I guess they just missed this one. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. I think the last thing I wanna try is to see if I can have it create tests. And I think sometimes this also helps when you're work working this way in vibe coding is if you can have it create tests and then have it check those tests after it make changes, that really helps. That way, if it breaks something, it'll notice it breaks it and fixes it. So I'm gonna ask it to create tests for everything. Also did it, let me see here. I'm gonna have it commit the changes too. So please commit these changes. Commit these changes first, then create some tests, some basic tests for each page. And so this will just make sure that the basic tests will make sure that just certain things are working and that if we make changes that we're not breaking it. I think like the basic, most basic of basic tests is does this render? So if we change something so completely wrong in a page that it doesn't render anymore, at least these tests will, will find that. You can see here, it's actually even installing like the test utils. I'd probably use best test utils and vtest, so it's great, it knows what to do. I think for Nux, there's probably different strategies for testing in Nux, but I think this will work fine as well. It even committed the changes, which is nice. Then now I can roll back to a previous version if this messed up. Okay, so it looks like it added a test for each. So I guess the only thing left to do is to actually test it. So let's ask it to test it. Can you run the tests and make sure they all work? So let's see if it will do as it expected. It looks like a few failed, so let's see if it fixes those failures. All right, so it finally finished. It ran like a couple of times and it kept fixing each one of the failed ones and it got them all done. And look, like there's 20 different tests it created, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm really, I thought this worked really well. I mean, it definitely ran into a couple of issues with 
having to fix some placeholder text and it getting confused between Tailwind CSS 3 and 4. But I definitely can see like a quick way to create projects a quick starting point, like this works great. I, I do see the other videos on vibe coding and people having a lot more issues. And I can imagine as you start getting more and more complicated projects, you're gonna be very specific. But you know, for, for what I was doing, this worked really well. I mean, we can look at the code real quickly to see what it created. I mean, this looks fine. I mean, I probably wouldn't have done it completely like this. Here is more of, here's our script setups or it's using use route. I mean, it's using the right things it should with Nuxt. It's using computed property, formal dates. So I think the blog, how it just created that was really neat. I didn't have to do anything there. And our tests. So let's see how it did the tests. So it has this mock, a bunch of mocks set up. And then I think here, yeah, here are the rest of the tests. So I have, essentially we wanna make sure that every page renders. So we have a render at the beginning of each one of these. It's using vtest and test utils which I think is what I would probably use on this. These don't look too bad, like display the social media links, show skills section selection. These aren't perfect tests. I know probably some of you watching are being like, wow, I'd probably do this completely different, but I don't know if you're just starting off or you're learning Nux, these aren't a bad way, a bad test to have. And plus maybe they're just used mostly to make sure if you're using this vibe coding or using a LLM or AI coding assistant that it doesn't break your page. So just have it run the tests after everything it does. Awesome. There's so many more things I could do. I could probably spend another like two hours just going through and tweaking things. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this site. It's responsive. Let's see here. Yeah, so it has a little bit of responsiveness to it. The links work. It created this blog and bio page. I even added a little search, but I don't think the search does it work. No. Oh, it does work. Yeah, it had a really simple search. So I guess I could put building. Huh, I didn't even know it did that. I wonder if the pagination works. The pagination at the bottom. Yeah, like even has like pagination working. That's pretty nice. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Take care and also, yeah, check out that link if you wanna try Amazon QCLI for yourself on the free tier. Thanks.